I recently had someone ask about the difference between arc length and parameter in um, one of my comment sections in NX. So here I have a through curve mesh set up. What I want you to notice is this section has a total of three segments and this section has a total of one segment. And this helps me really easily describe what's going on here. Now if I take a look at this, this is the through curve mesh that I made and right now I have preserve shape on by parameter and it's making a shape that emulates this and this perfectly. When I use by parameter it and using pr preserve shape you'll notice that it gives you a, a perfect result based off of whatever tolerances you have and that's it. If this is as close to those curves, those initial sections, as you can get. If I change this to arc length, you'll notice that preserve shape cannot be used because what ends up happening is with the arc length, it washes out those segments a little bit and it uses a bit more of the tolerance, right? It's no longer perfect. It's slightly off of the initial sections. Now, what is this useful for? As you can see in this case, it washes away those additional patches and it makes the surface a lot more complex if I look at the control points from one to the other. So if I come over here, I go into uh, my t -t -t analysis, pick my surface, I say show poles, and show knots, you'll see those poles and knots, quite a few of them, and they run all along that surface. Now if I double click on this, and I go and I change this back to by parameter and I say preserve shape you'll notice that it simplifies it considerably because now I'm going from an arc to another arc, 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 so on and so forth, right? So simple, very, very simple shapes. Now the reason why this only appeared on this one faces analysis is because these faces across the entire surface were not there originally to be selected to put in those control points. Now as you can see I have a much simpler surface but those segments are showing. Now in some cases you may need to use the arc length to wash away those segments. Um, I've seen it uh, when you're going across two separate boundaries sometimes it uh, doesn't want to maintain the continuity across those boundaries because of tolerance issues and by using an arc length it, uh, it will maintain those boundary constraints. So uh, you end up with a fairly complex surface, but you get the actual shape that you want. Now, the way the math is being performed with the parameter in this case is I have a segment length over here. This segment length from here to here is a certain percentage of the overall length of this segment. So what it does is and, and just as an example, I'm, I'm just throwing out a rough number. Maybe this is roughly 30% of the total length. So this little node is going to carry across that 30% of the total length here. This length from here to this point will be the same percentage-wise across this entire segment versus this entire segment and the same thing from this segment to this segment. And that's how it adjusts. Basically, it's that ratio from here to here, sorry, from here to here, from here to here. So if I look at this at 0 to 100%, 0 to 100%, and this is at 30%, and this is at, let's say, 70%, well, this is going to appear here at the same percentage. This is going to say, do the same from here to here, at the same percentage. Now, what the arc length is doing is if I go here and I go to arc length, preserve shape goes away, uh, what the arc length is doing is it's looking at it as a complete single segment here and this is a complete single segment here. So it's not necessarily considering this shape as three separate elements, it's seeing it as a singular element. So what it does is in this case uh, if I go right into the 50%, right middle of this, right to the middle of this, it goes all the way from 50% to 50% here to here. So 25%, 25%, 70%, 70%, and so on. 
So it's basically the way it's calculating that math from segment to segment or section to section is what the arc length and parameter are doing. So the difference is, is the parameter is looking at each segment as its own individual section and then lofting it across and the arc length is looking at this entire section as its own section, right? There's no divisions internally and then it's making that shape. So yeah, you will have two very different shapes. So if I change the color of this and make it here, go like that. I'm going to copy this. So there is one, there is two. Let me come over here. Let me change this to parameter, preserve the shape, select OK. And this guy, let me change the color of it so we can really see it. Uh, let's go to a blue. So you can see there are differences in those shapes. Right. So um, depending upon what you need, what's required, you may uh, opt to use one over the other. I personally try to use the parameter option over everything else because I like the true shapes to shine through, the simplicity, the cleanliness, everything that's involved. And because of that, I again like to use that, that uh, parameter method. Now, uh, if I come in here and uh, let's go edit section and zoom in on it, you can see where the most deviations that take place are right where those uh, washed out segments appear, especially over here. You can see there's, there's quite a drastic change going across those surfaces. Okay, so that's, that's basically what the parameter and arc length are for. Uh, there's other ways that you can create the shapes as well. There's other means to um, transition from one section to the other dependent upon uh, what you have. You may need a spine curve. Uh, you have various segments. So if you have like segments from one segment to the other, or for, uh, from one section to the other section, maybe you have three segments on each or ten segments on each. If you hit by, hit by segment, each segment will automatically align. All right? By points, you can manually... Um, adjust each segment the way you want and so on. So there's various options here. We'll get into these another time. I don't want to make this video too long. But anyway, that's the basics behind by parameter and by arc length. Now, hope you liked the video. If you did, please like it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, share with a friend.